Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how you can integrate QuickMail into your course so that way you can email all of the participants at once. I have my Moodle page open and ready to go and we want to add QuickMail. Now QuickMail is considered a block, so you're going to add that block to your course. First thing you have to do is turn your editing button on and then you're going to go to the left hand side on your navigation menu. If you don't see your navigation menu, it could be collapsed. So if it looks like this, you just have to expand your navigation menu by choosing the three horizontal lines at the top. You're going to scroll down and choose add a block and then you're going to click on the quick mail block. Now for me, it shows up in the upper right corner. If you have a different layout, maybe yours might show up a little bit differently, but for the most part, it should show up here in the upper right corner. When you're ready to compose a course message, you're going to click compose course message, and it's going to take you to the screen here. Now here under two, you're going to put all of the recipients that are going to receive this email, and you're going to choose them from the drop down menu here. If you'd like to choose everyone, you can choose all in course and that will send everyone an email or you can just pick and choose the students off of the list here that you want to send an email to. If you do choose all, but maybe want to exclude one or two students for whatever reason, you can choose who should not receive this message from this menu here. Here in subject, you can just put the subject of your email, just like you were writing any other email. And in the body here, you're going to actually write your email and you can take advantage of your rich content editor here if you wanted to post a picture or if maybe you wanted to center or align your text, you have a few options here that you can take advantage of. If you had a document that you wanted to share with students, maybe a syllabus or some sort of thing that is coming up in class that you want them to have access to, you can drag and drop that file in here or click on this little piece of paper called the file picker to add it from your computer. You just find it and select it and it'll put it in the box for you. You could choose whether to send the message as an email or whether to send it as a Moodle message. If you send this message as an email, you just want to keep in mind that students cannot reply to that email directly from their inbox. So they can see it in there, but when they receive that email, it will say no reply and they won't be able to send you back an email. So you just wanna keep that in mind when you're choosing that option. A new feature that you have now is that you can schedule your message to send at a certain time. So maybe you want to send your message the night before school begins, but you're busy doing something or you don't want to forget. You can enable this option here by clicking enable and you would just choose the date and the time in which you want Moodle to send this message to your students. Keep in mind that you are using army time here, so keep the right time in there so it's accurate. And then that's it. When you enable that, it will send the message at that time. I'm going to disable this for now, but just so you know. And if you want to receive a send report letting you know that it successfully sent, you can press yes, and that will then go ahead and send that message. So we're just going to choose to send this message to one person just as a test. So we're just going to go ahead and press send message and that will go ahead and send the message for us and you'll see it says message sent and you'll also get an email if you requested it letting you know whether the message has been sent successfully or not.